Hello and welcome to installing expansion cards for demos. Today I'll be showing you how to install PCI cards in computers, installing AGP video cards in computers, and how to install PCI Express cards in computers. Okay, let's go on to our first computer. Here's our first computer. Gateway ESX 500. So, to start, you would open your computer's door, or open its case, I'll be showing a few other computers with various other cases. Um, a good way to start is always to try to de-static um, yourself to get rid of the static electricity in your body because that can cause a short circuit. You also want to disconnect your power um, cord and keep it your computer away from electricity because that can also cause a short circuit or a power problem and that can hurt you or your computer. So this is um, the card we're installing. It's a PCI modem, and you would simply install it in any one of these ports. It would be a new one. You'd install it in any port. It really doesn't matter. Um, basically, this it has to be a PCI port. They're usually white, and they look like this. Uh, really about it for PCI and really any expansion cards is you just press it in and then secure it. Some cards um, some use screws like this, some use smaller screws, it varies by manufacturer and model. And you just put your cover your case back in and on to the next one. Alright, this is our next computer. It is a custom built EVGA gaming computer. And again, you just remove your computer's case. The case. The video or the card we're installing today is an NVIDIA GeForce 6800 Ultra, which is very large. And you would just insert it like that into the AGP slot of your computer. They can be brown, black, green, they vary a lot in color, but they are usually above the PCI slots, typically, and they will sit a little farther back on the board. Also, that's not always the case. They usually have a securing clip of some sort, and this particular card has external power cords. You would plug those into the back. Some video cards have those. Others do not. Depends on the computer. Okay, the next computer we're installing an expansion card in is Dell Dimension 4550. And the computer has already been opened. It has a very odd way of opening. Uh, the expansion card we're installing is an AGT ATI Radon Rage 128 Ultra, which is a pitiful ancient video card. The, the green slot is, an AG, is the AGP slot. And you just insert the card into the slot. Make sure it lines up. And then make sure it's all locked in with all the clips. And secure it. And you would just close the computer. And the next one. The next computer is an eMachine EL1300 01 DW. It's like a lot of other computers, except it's so much more compact. You can see the RAM and CD-ROM drive are pretty close to each other. Power supply unit is smaller than most other uh, computers. CPU, you know, heat sinks most or whatever. Anyway, the uh, card we're installing here is uh, a PCI Express modem, and it's the small X1 bus. You see it's much smaller than most other expansion cards. And the same with most other expansion cards. You would just try to fit that into the port. Then you'd secure it with a screw. This computer uses screws. Other computers use clips. Again, it just varies by manufacturer and model. Alright, on to the next one. Okay. The next computer we're installing an expansion card on is a Dell Optiplex 320. 
and the expansion card is an ATI Radon HD 2400 Pro and the it is PCI X16 which is a much larger bus it's the current uh, version if you buy a video card brand new would probably be PCI X16 okay so basically you would just as with most other expansion cards maybe even all you would just try to fit the card in slot make sure it's all lined up all the pins are lined up and that's lined up over here on the edge too okay and then you would make sure that all the clips are in are secure I don't think this card is secure right now. Probably something's not right on it. Then you would, this would flip down, and that would be how you would, how that would secure it. And that's it. That's, I've shown you five computers, five different cards, uh, three different slots, and this this covers the vast majority of most expansion cards. Before PCI came around, there were a lot of other expansion cards. Uh, you can look on the PCI Wikipedia article, show what, what it replaced. And that's pretty much it for expansion cards. Thanks for watching.